Okay, so played the golf course for the first time yesterday. This is one of my favorites. It's really tricky to try and figure out because it all just kind of narrows in as you the further up you go so it's only 374 yards but it's downhill so you can get for me i can get a driver away and get myself relatively close but there is the risk reward because if i don't then we're looking at another bogey just to kind of keep the bogey run going on this video the backdrop is incredible can give them a look at that beautiful got golf course houses mountains blue sea ocean water and crystal be beautiful blue sky we can, can move here it's my kind it's my kind of climate okay drivers out so always remember as well you, the last shot you just hit was a putter the one before that was a six iron then a putter then a chip so i've not hit anything long like this now for a few holes so i'm gonna make sure that i have a couple of little practice swings get a bit of a feel for the club I've got a couple of swing thoughts that I'm personally working on, so I'm going to try and make sure I implement them. So if everyone's doing something similar, just always try and keep on top of one or two swing thoughts. It's just good to kind of keep yourself focused on what you're trying to do. So ball position for me, I get too far forward, so I'm going to make sure I don't do that. I've adjusted my grip over recent times. I'm going to make sure the grip's comfortable. Ball position, stabilize the right knee as I rotate. And that's my golf swing. And then we're just going to unleash. Okay, so just down the right rough. Not a bad lie, actually. If it comes in somewhere here, the lie would be totally different. So downhill is 130 yards to the flag. What I did forget to say on the tee, I said it's 370. It's 370 meters. So that's about 410 yards, which is a completely different hole. So 130 yards to the flag, all downhill. So I'm going to try and allow for about a 10 yard drop in distance. So it's going to be about 120 yards with the slope. Now it's slightly into wind. Okay, so you can probably add another couple on. So let's call it 120 to 125. So trying to have a bit of a guesstimate on the yardage because the slopes make a huge difference to whether they add or decrease the distance. So I've got a gap wedge. Flag is just tucked in to the right side of the green. So I've got loads of room left. So I'm going to go at the flag and I hit a little, I normally hit a little draw. So it keeps it away from missing to the right, gets me back into the middle of the green. Okay, ball is above my feet. So you'll notice that I'm gripping a lot lower down on the club as well, just to try and neutralize the slope. So get everything a lot closer. I'm going to just drop down into my knees a little bit more, put my weight onto my left side, make sure I get the strike. Nice drive, pulled it a touch, but middle of the green and chance for the first par of the day. Go on. Oh. Oh. Easy par. Okay, so 142 to the flag. Brought two clubs up, so I'm not quite sure what the wind is doing. And it's into, so it's playing about 150. Pitching wedge for me is 135 to 140. So the 9-9 is a 140 to 150 club. So we're gonna hit a little soft 9-9. Generally tend to hit a bit of a draw. So just right at the flag, go through the routine, and hopefully put it in close. An amazing strike but it's all over the flag okay we're close six to eight feet let's make birdie come on. right we've got a birdie chance right to left so using the body weight to kind of feel where the slope is it's definitely a little right to left though ah oh. overread it didn't break as much as i thought it's a par Par five next though, eagle, let's do it. All right, last hole, 18th hole, par five finish. Played this yesterday, it's about 500 yards, but it doesn't really play, it's generally, yeah, it feels downwind a little bit as well now. 
Also, once you hit that landing area, if you hit a decent drive with the landing area, the ball will carry forwards off the slope. So, I can be a little bit more aggressive with my line. I want to try and finish on a high. So I want to finish with an eagle or a birdie. But I mean, let's be fair, I'll be happy with par as well. Um, okay, so last shot, driver with the driver over the bunkers and away we go. shot we shouldn't have much more than a six iron into the green all right so as i said it's a nice shot i've actually got a seven iron into the green i've got about 180 yards into the flag but don't know if you can tell all the water down the right hand side kind of takes up most of the green and the flag is proper sunday pin positions here all the way at the very back of the green just over the water. Now, I'm gonna go for it, obviously. So I mean, this could be a seven or an eight or a four or a three. We shall see. Wind is slightly, slightly in two. So I've got a seven iron, 180 yards. Ideally, in reality, I'm just gonna try and hit to the last, the bunkers at the end. That'll get me right into the middle of the green into two foot territory. So from a course management perspective, that flag is just not, it's just a no-go. You just don't do it unless you really have to. And right now, I don't really have to. So I'm gonna hit a little seven, I'm gonna start the ball pretty much at the flag, and then just draw it away from the flag to the green, the middle of the green. It's all about the strike though, still gonna rip it, I'm still covering a lot of water. Oh, the strike was pure, right in the middle of the green, presuming the distance is right. Yep, quite a long way though. Strike was amazing. It was probably left of centre. So we're going to have a long two putt. All right, that pretty much brings us to the end of the video. Got two more putts to go. Hopefully, we can finish on a birdie. That'll make me one over for the last few holes, which is not too bad. Just rolled out of bed. Massive thanks to the camera lady, the girlfriend's here. Bring your girlfriend to work day. And the rest of the afternoon, I'm going to be off playing with clients. So we're going to have a little competition for the rest of the day. So that should be good fun. And also to follow up this video as well, we're going to be doing a full Arcos link review. So do stay tuned for more content. But let's for now finish on a high. It's a bit longer than expected, but I mean, that flag is just not gettable from that position all over water. Uphill. Left to right, good left to right. Probably about six foot left of the hole here. Trying to get the speed is number one. That is the key. Visualization and a prayer. Don't think I've hit it hard enough. Go, 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 go. Give that six out of ten. Okay, for birdie. Birdie to finish on a high. Surely we're not missing this, are we? Do you reckon I'm making it? No. Oh. Okay. Oh, what I want to do to prove you wrong right now. Did a lap of honor. Also, if you've liked, if you enjoyed the content, what do you do, Kim? Like and subscribe. There you go.